let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a matrix space RD where D is a usual distance and we have two subsets of R, A and B. Given that both are connected and intersection is non-empty, we have to decide whether all these four sets are connected or disconnected. See, out of that first two, we have already discussed in previous video. So we will take a short overview of it and after that we will discuss remaining two sets, okay? So this is a very important result for a connected uh, set seen R with a usual distance, obviously. In a R, a subset of R is connected, okay, with a usual distance if and only if it is either singleton set or interval. So what we have, A and B are connected sets, intersection is non-empty. I have already told you that if you have a matrix space and if we have two sets, A and B connected and intersection is non-empty, then union is also connected. So A union B is connected since they have provided all the information. Since A, A and B are both are connected, intersection is non-empty, so A union B is also connected. Let us talk about A intersection B. See, A and B are connected subsets of R, therefore they are intervals. Getting they are intervals or singleton set. And intersecting intervals, okay, that, that, that means intersection is not equal to 5. So the intersection is obviously again an interval or a singleton set. So every interval and singleton sets are connected subsets of R, that's why. A intersection B is connected, okay. So in previous videos also we have already discussed these two cases. So these two are new for us, A minus B and A cross B. A minus B is, A minus B that means we are removing set B from A. And we have to find whether that set is resultant set is connected or disconnected. Let us discuss one example. Consider A is equal to open interval 0, 0,5. I will draw the diagram so you can easily understand. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is an interval, that's why it is a connected subset of R. B is equal to what I am taking B 2, comma 3. So 2, comma 3. So said B again it is an interval, it is connected. So both are connected. Intersection is also non-empty. Get it? So what is intersection? B obviously, since B is a subset of A. Let us find A minus B. We are subtracting this interval from this large interval. So what will we have? 0 to 2 union 3 to 5. This part is removed. Getting We have subtracted this part. So the resultant part will be this one union this one. So this is a getting these two are separated. These two are open sets. So A minus B is expressed as union of two non-empty open sets. So therefore A minus B is disconnected. This is equivalent definition of disconnected matrix space. So A minus B is disconnected. Let me write that thing. It is disconnected. Okay. So let us talk about the last one. A cross B in R2. So in R2 what will happen? Our set A is interval. So set A is interval on X axis we will have. B is connected. So that is also an interval on Y axis. Get it? So if you take a cross product, you will have a rectangle like this. So obviously that rectangle is a connected set. So that's why A cross B in R2 is also connected. So there are different ways to prove it. Huh? That uh, rectangle in R2 is connected set. So this, this, these are our conclusions. So you can make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.